With the 70 million ash trees in Britain currently under threat from a deadly disease, the Springhead Trust is pioneering a project to celebrate the ash in Dorset and Wiltshire and educate the public on its cultural and historical significance. It's been almost the most important tree since the Bronze Age. It facilitated the beginnings of uh, settled agriculture because almost every agricultural implement had an either an ash handle or was made of ash. And then it goes right the way back through European culture into the ancient Greeks and also to the Norse and both of them believe that uh, they were created from ash trees. The main aspect of this project is that um, it raises public awareness, it makes people aware of a tree which goes largely unnoticed but is actually very important, very significant, especially in a Wiltshire landscape because Chalk Downland is where it, where it grows best and the ash from Chalk Downland would have been the best uh, wood for spears, for cartwheels, for all the things that uh, Neolithic and, and sort of ancient people would have required around here. This photography and art exhibition is just one of the projects in the programme showcasing the ash tree. The ash dieback disease is due to take hold in Western Britain in the next few years and could wipe out 90% of the ash tree population. This will have a significant impact on the landscape and so this project is attempting to engage the public. It helps people recognise the wider environment. It's just one of the many wonderful trees that are in the landscape. It happens to be particularly threatened, also happens to be particularly significant to our cultural history. But in a wider context, it's great to get people to think about uh, what happens to the landscape and the environment and the species associated with ash. As part of the project, which will start to gather speed in the spring, the team will be monitoring the ash tree across all landscapes and recording their findings to attempt to stave off the deadly disease. We're trying to record the landscape as it is in 2017 and 2018. So with the, the AONB, we are having a, a sort of baton of ta taking out a, a camera phone and allowing people, walkers and different groups, to take the phone with them and to record the landscape just in case the trees die back. And then that will enable people to reconstruct the landscape when we find genetically resistant varieties. This current week-long project will bring 33 tree experts together from the UK and Scandinavia to discuss what is likely to happen to the landscape when the ash dieback takes hold. This art exhibition is a visual celebration of the historical ash. The artists and the photographers were delighted because and when we asked them, most of them didn't have any pictures of ash. It's one of the unsung heroes of the, the landscape. And therefore, um, it's made them focus on it and then see the actual beauty that's within it. As well as the week-long experts' discussion and the exhibition, the project will also create a photographic record of the ash tree across our region's landscapes. Rhea Barton, That's TV.